Good morning, offline students and online students. So, today we are going to uh, start our English class. So, now, yesterday, I have taught you about the pumpkin in a jar. Chapter 11. Yes? On offline students, yes? Yes. And online students, yes? So, to, uh, yesterday only I have just given all the word meanings and question answers. Did you complete students? Offline online students, did you complete it? I have given you at um, Snap Homo Camp. See, if you are not completed, anyone not completed, please complete it. Okay? Please complete it. It is very... Um, very important okay in this uni taste you need this okay so all of you will start so now the pumpkin the chart chapter i have uh, yesterday i have explained you but today also once again just we will read once again i will not explain you just read once again okay just read once again and after that, we are going to do the exercises of this chapter. Okay? So, now let's start to read. Once upon a time, a king went to ride in the forest. He rode so fast that he was separated from his companions. Finally, he stopped at his horse to rest a while. He was thirsty. And so was his horse. But there was no sign of water nearby. Wandering about, the king saw a small thatched hut that was surrounded by a garden. A young woman was walking in the garden. She didn't notice the king standing at the gate. Excuse me, I am terribly thirsty. May I have some water to drink? Called the king. The maiden turned in surprise. She recognized the king and bowed low. Your majesty, of course, I can get you cool water right now. But I only have an old clay jar to serve the water in. I am afraid you will have to drink out of it. So I think yesterday I have explained you that the, there was a king and he... And he ride in the forest so that he rode so fast that he was, he left his companions behind. Yes, after that he was stopped in a the jungle and then he, um, he saw a small hut. Yes, small touched hut. So there he saw a beautiful garden and that garden he saw a maiden. Yes, maiden. And he asked the maiden, yes, and the maiden uh, and ma maiden was working yes there and he asked the maiden and that's he said that excuse me I'm terribly thirsty he said that may I have some water to drink I'm very terribly thirsty so the maiden turned in surprise see and then what happened the maiden is turned in surprise how can king can come to my house yeah he, she surprised so she recognized the king and what she did bowed low. So she said that your majesty of course I can get you cool water right now but she said that she had no any glass okay. She just um, drink. she said that I have no any uh, glass you have to drink out on an old clay jar okay. She said that I don't I don't have any jar and you have to drink from an old clay jar. Then after that let's see the next page on students and offline students what has happened the next one. So never mind the jar. If the water is cool I will gladly drink from the old clay jar. The king replied. The maiden went inside the hut, fetched a jar and filled it with cool, clear water. The thirsty king drank it with pleasure. After he had given his horse some water as well,
the king gave the jar back to the maiden. The maiden took the jar and, and all of the sudden she struck the jar on the wall of the hut and it shattered to bits. So what happened after the maiden said that, after the maiden said that, okay I'll bring some clear water. So the king said that never mind, I will, I will drink from the jar only. So after that the maiden went inside the hut and she, she and she uh, and she brought and she bought a jar with cool and clear water for the king. So when the king drank the water and uh, and he gave some water to the horse as well as so after that all of a sudden means suddenly she just struck the jar into pieces. Struck means she just um struck the jar in the pieces and then uh, the king was surprised how sh how how she can struck the jar into pieces yes okay he asked why did you break the jar i thought this was the only jar you had the king said why did you break the jar i thought this was the only jar you had because you're so poor that she said that i have no glass left to drink from old clay jar so the king was Astonished, he was surprised. I am sorry, your majesty. The maiden said, How could I let anyone else use it after you? I may live in the forest, but I do know how to pay respect to the king. Okay. The king was impressed. He had not met anyone like her before. On his way back to the palace, he thought, she is very thoughtful and kind. I wonder if she is clever too. I'll have to find out. So, when the king asked that, why did you break the jar? She said that, she said, the maiden said that, how could I, it uh, means, the maiden said that, how could I let anyone use it before? Because the king has drank the water. So she said that how could I let anyone else use it after you? She said that I may live in the forest but I but I know that how to pay respect to the king. So what she said? She said that after you use it how can I give to anyone to use it? And I live in the forest but I know everything to respect the king, to pay respect to the king. So after that what happened the king was impressed okay and the king and king had not met anyone like her before so when he's coming back to his palace he thought that she's very thoughtful and kind yeah i wonder if she's clever or not means the king thought that she's very thoughtful and kind but i think um i think if she's clever or not she said if she's clever or not okay unless she said that he said that if she's clever or not okay so a few days later the king called a soldier and asked him to carry a jar to the maid remember say the king the jar must have an opening only an inch across the top tell me the matter i want her to put a whole pumpkin into it she must not break the jar or the pumpkin the surprised soldier took the king's message to the maiden in the forest and soon came back with another message. The maiden had said that she would bring the jar to the king in a few months. So after that what say a few days later means king called a soldier and give him that. He said that um, he said that um, means he uh, soldier and asked him to carry the jar to the maiden he said that 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 you have to take this jar to the, uh, to the maiden and said her that um, in a jar you have to in a jar she has to put a whole pumpkin in the jar so the she, uh, means he said that uh, say to the maiden that this is a jar yeah in this jar she had to put the whole pumpkin on it okay so 
the surprised soldier was so surprised at how kings he took the king's message to the maiden so the maiden had said that she would bring the jar to the king in a few months the king waited eagerly after several months the maiden came to the palace with the jar in her hands the king was astonished through the tiny opening of the jar he could see an enormous pumpkin means a big pumpkin he examined the jar closely to make sure that it was the same jar it was what's more both the pumpkin and the jar were completely undamaged he asked the maiden to marry him on the spot as she was thoughtful kind and clever she agreed when the king found out how she had managed to fit the whole pumpkin into the jar he laughed long and hard okay students this was a chapter okay okay then let's move to now exercise part all of you move to exercise part so now all of you will move to in b1 all of you will move to b1 word wonder b1 b1 all of you will move to b1 so okay page number 74 okay in the story the king asks the maiden for some water to drink there are many other uses of water fill in the blanks with words from the box to know about the ways in which we use water dash some water on the leaves to clean them okay so now who can tell me the answer dash some water on the leaves to clean them who can tell me the answer offline students and online students online students you can text your message i am giving you only 2 minutes all of you offline or online students you have to tell me the answer okay online students you have to text me and offline tell me okay okay i am waiting online students please say fast please say fast online students offline students okay very good or uh, okay very good okay the answer will be sprinkle the at uh, the correct answer will be sprinkle very good students all of you answering me sprinkle very good very very good online offline students why can't you tell me See, online students are telling me very fast. Good. Okay. So now let's move to sprinkle. All of you, right now, sprinkle. The spelling is given on the yellow box. Okay. Number two. Let's move to number two. On holy children use water pistols to dash water on each other. Now think all of you. I am now for this. This is very easy. So I am giving you only one minute to tell this. Okay, online or offline students both. Okay, very good online and offline students too because on holy children use water pistols to spray water on each other. Very good spray. No. I dash the cloth and wipe the table. I soak. Very good. I soak the cloth and wiped the table. I was sleepy, so I splashed some water on my face. Very good. You must soak the rice in the water for ten minutes before you cook it. Okay. Very good, students. Offline and online students, you two have done very good. Okay. okay so today we are have we are have no time so on our next class we are going to do page number 76 so now but take out page number 76 now students and just a little bit i'm going to just give a little bit of description now okay read the sentences c1 they will reach delhi on thursday 
Shruti will call Meena tomorrow. We will not attend a function on Monday. When we talk about actions in the future, we use the word will just before the action word. In the first sentence, see, when we talk about actions in the future, so in future we will go shopping tomorrow. We will go shopping today. Okay. We will go shopping tomorrow. It is a future one. So, all we always use um, will with future. No. <clears throat> shall also. Yes. Very good. Shall also. And with will, will, we use and with will, we can use action words too. Rich. A uh, action word. Doing words. Verb words. See. When we talk about actions in the future, we used to word will just before the action word. These are what action words. Yeah, doing words, verbs, these are. Rich, call, not, action, action words only. So now, add will to the verbs in the brackets and fill in the blanks. So this we will do on Monday. So on Monday, your class, no? So online students, now I have to end the class for you. Bye.